How about if birds are flying? Let's look at just a couple examples of that in case you want to do a bird that's not sitting around, but flying. So birds that are flying, there's a couple things you can look for. One is the eye and the tail are generally right in line. This one too, eye and tail right in line. And then you can draw another line between their wing tips. So what am I talking about here? Well, let's do this ua u and I've got the body. I see the tail is here, eye is here. And so I can see that I've got a shape kind of like this for tail to body. And the eye is going to be here. I see the beak down below. This one's got kind of a hooked beak and the wings will form an X on the body. But what are those exact angles? I see that this is going about like this on the bird, finding that line. Then I'm going to find its shoulders. Well, where does its head end and the wing begin? Because we do have a head there, but it's all sort of formed together from this angle. But I see that that goes there. And what are the shapes of these wings? I see it scoops out and then down. She scoops out and then down. There we go. Now, down below, what's the bottom part of the wing do? Comes up and then down. Up and then down. I think for this one, the beak, the head needs to be a little bit smaller. There we go. Or I could have made the wings a little bit bigger, but I was running out of space. Look at what shape that tail is exactly. There's definitely some shading to put in there, but I'm going to move on again. How did I do that? I looked for eye and tail, found what that line was, looked for wingtip and wingtip, found what that was, and then put in the body, the eye, find what the beak's doing, might be in line, might be a little bit lower, and then found the shoulders, what does the front of the wing do, and what does the back of the wing do.